Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's She's One Oak, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on the product Dermacol, which is a waterproof concealer foundation. I used it to cover partial of my tattoo, and I put it on my Instagram, and a lot of people were very, very pleased with the results of how it came out. So I'm actually going to show how I cover this whole thing. So this is my sleeve, half sleeve tattoo. It's a mermaid with really vibrant colors, really hard to cover. I, I've used products in the past, but I felt like this Dermacol really covered it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do it. Um, and I tried it a few days ago, so um, I haven't perfected it yet, but I think the way I've done it is pretty good. First, I'm going to start off with, I got the color... I got the color 223 and 224. Uh, 223 is kind of like my actual skin tone. 224 is more of like a tan. If I was to be tanned, I would probably mix that in with the 223. Um, but it's kind of like a tan and then dark tan. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just use a brush. This time I'm going to use my Morphe M208 brush. First, I'm going to spray it with setting spray. So with like all makeup, you want to start with like a primer. A setting spray primer that kind of sets into your skin and just makes the product uh, stay longer so I'm just gonna put that on really quick let that dry I'm gonna probably start off on the top section and then work my way to the bottom so we'll start that so I'm gonna use the 223 again and I'm kind of just gonna put it in the center of my tattoo so I can kind of grab and go all right, so here I'm just kind of brushing all the product. It's really thick. That consistency is thick like no tomorrow. So you really want to brush it really good and even out the layer. You'll see that I go in with another brush after, but I'm just kind of smoothing it all over my tattoo. And my tattoo is really huge. I mean, it's a big piece to cover it. Now, what you want to do is kind of take like another brush to just blend the edges out because I think I'm going to go ahead and start the dark color so I just want to blend all that because you want to have one same layer but you want it to be even so this will kind of blend out any excess product Okay, now I might add, let's go ahead and add let's blend this a little bit. Top, the back. Oh, it's really hard because it's like, ugh, I'm not that flexible. Let's hope we can get that later. Alright, so I'm gonna just because. I mean, it might oxidize, so I'm just going to put a tad bit of that dark 224 on my brush just to give it some color. But only in a few places so we can mix it all around. Take my buffing brush. What I'm going to do is just kind of swirl it all around. And if we have patches, we can always go back and fill those in. But I want to get some of that color on there. That warm color. I guess this is good for like weddings when the bride wants to cover I didn't cover mine in my wedding, but some brides want to, you know? Some brides rather cover their tattoos. A little bit adds more elegance to it, you know? Me, I just, I didn't bother. I didn't really care for it. Okay, so, finish blending this part out. Now I have the I had this tattoo for about 
When did I get this done? Probably about seven years now. So it's really like in my skin. It's like you can see the outline of it no matter what. So right now, this is the, basically the, the one layer and it doesn't look like skin yet. It looks a little yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. We're gonna add some powder, more of like your skin tone powder, kind of like what you set your face with powder. Um, and then we'll use setting spray and then we'll use a translucent powder. So that's what I did last time. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it dry. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with um, just a face powder, more of like my skin tone. I'm gonna take a different brush now, more of like a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E3 just so I can kind of dab it on there, but really softly. So we'll kind of set it. And look more like my color, because it's a little light. A little light. Okay, so I kind of feel like we're going to put some setting po setting spray now. So I went and added face powder. Sorry, I'm like dirty now. Make sure you put, make sure you wear like a black shirt when you do this. Alright, so now I'm going to set it with some Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. And I have this one in the bridal. So it's this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. Not too much, because I want it to dry, but okay. After this, we're gonna put some translucent powder, and I think the one that I'm gonna use, um, I guess we'll use L'Oreal Mercier. It looks pretty good right now, you know? I think it just needs a little bit more color like I look bronzy on this side. I have this one from Alcone and I'm gonna put the setting powder on there and just start patting it. Pat motion. I don't want to use a brush because I don't want to brush any of that product. I want to just pat and move on. Pat Now I'm going to put my bronzer back on there, give it some more color. That is it. I covered my entire arm brides will be okay in their dress as long as they let it dry and you'll be good so thank you so much guys for watching i hope this video helped i'll put the link for the dermaco in the description box i did get it off of amazon and i think i'm going to pick up a few more colors maybe light some light some more darker shades for uh, my clients that would want to cover something so i can have a full range of the colors so again, I'll put it in the description box. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you guys so much. And please don't forget to subscribe. And I appreciate all your support. Thank you, guys. Love ya. Thank you so much for watching. But please don't forget to subscribe.